Welcome to the live demonstration, as I will be walking you through the use of Ali Builder plugin. And before I show you how to import products and set up drop shipping stores with Ali Builder, first, I've created some menu categories and we will be using WooCommerce front store theme for this demonstration so that you know Ali Builder works with any WordPress or WooCommerce themes. Once you install Ali Builder, you are going to come across seven tabs. The first tab, when you import products either through search or directly from AliExpress, this is where you'll be able to push or publish the product to your WordPress e-com store. The next is the search product tab. But before we delve into that, we'll first click on the API settings link. In the API settings, this is where we will be able to set up and put Ali Builder to maximum use. Like if you have your own AliExpress API, but since this is a drop shipping plugin, you will not have the need for any API. We are going to be using the default built-in API. Next, I'll click on the AliExpress API settings link. Here is where you'll be adding your API credentials. But as I said earlier, you will not be needing it since we've built one into the plugin. All you need to do is to just uncheck this and click on Save Changes. Also, one unique feature you'll love is the Admitad chargeback integration. To set that up, open the dropdown and click on Admitad account, and enter your Admitad affiliate link URL and click Save Changes. Also, on our General Settings tab, we have the Auto Social. This is where you'll be able to generate your social media traffics from the setup, from Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr, Medium, and Reddit. Once these are all set up, any product that you import will be automatically pushed to these social platforms. Next, we have the Import Settings tab. On this setting area, you'll be able to select your default store language. Any product you import will be translated to your language choice. We've got several languages that your AliExpress imported products will be automatically translated to. Next, is your storefront currency type. By default, you'll be seeing simple variable product, which basically is what we need for drop shipping. But if you would want to use the plugin for affiliate purposes, then you'll have to select the external affiliate products option. But since we'll be taking payments in our store, we will be using the simple product option. The default product type. This is where you get to publish your product automatically or push it to draft. Check the import attributes if needed. If you want to import AliExpress product descriptions, you can always check this. Additional variation attributes, you can check it also. Use external image URL. Check or uncheck this for your import image location. Last is random stock availability. What this does is to add scarcity to the number of available products in stock. Say I want when someone clicks on any of my products that they should see a random stock available from say five to 12 products in stock. I will click to save changes. Then we have the schedule settings. This is where you schedule to sync AliExpress products. When this is done, any changes made on AliExpress will reflect on our store. The not available product. When a product is no longer available in AliExpress, would you like to trash it or have it appear as out of stock or should it remain as available for sale? So once any imported product is no longer available on AliExpress, it should be seen as out of stock in our store. Your synchronization type. You can select if you don't want to sync prices and stocks. To sync only stock, to sync only prices and to sync prices and stocks. The pricing rules. This is where you'll be able to mark up and increase your product's price for profits. Say AliExpress is selling a product for $1 to you. You can mark it up to say $10 or more. We have three pricing types with the option to multiply a product price by a particular margin. And we can also add to the default product prices. Say a product is $10.
we can add $20 to the cost and sell it at $30 on our store. For this demo, we will be multiplying any imported product by 3. Because from our product categories which we had set up, this will be relatively low-cost products. While the Compare at Price markup adds an on-sale option to the product, so that our visitors will see that the product was discounted on a multiple of 7. We also have the Advanced Pricing Rule. This lets us apply different prices to our imported product range. Say I want to mark up the price of any product range from $5 to $20. I can use this rule for that. Also, we have the review settings. This is one of the coolest features that will help a lot of you with your store conversion. What this does is to import AliExpress product reviews and automatically sync new reviews to our store when they become available. You can translate these reviews to your default language. You can import review avatar. You can always enter the number of reviews you want to fetch per product. Say we want 50 reviews from each imported product. And the review ratings. Say I want to import review from 4 to 5 stars only. We also load review attributes and also an option to load the review images. What the phrase filter does. Say there are products in AliExpress that have contents we don't want to display on our store like words such as dropshipping or even the word AliExpress. We can replace these words with our choice phrases or words. Next, on our list is the update type for products, reviews, or both. Select the update scope for shop, import lists, or both. I will now click to add a filter phrase where if any of our imported products have the word AliExpress, it should replace with our store name. We will add another where we find drop shipping. It should be replaced with free shipping. Lastly, when there is a review with the content AliExpress Shopper, it should be changed with Ali Builder Shopper. I will go ahead and save our changes now. On the shipping settings, here you'll be able to select your default shipping method. We've got several of them, including AliExpress ePacket. Next, if you want to overwrite the buyer's phone number with yours, enter that here. Lastly, if you want to automatically attach a note for the AliExpress vendor, like, we are dropshippers, do not include product prices or any marketing materials with this order. This notifies them beforehand who you are and what not to do with your orders. We also have the shipping settings. If you want to use AliExpress shipping settings, when this is checked, your buyers will be able to select the shipping method in use by AliExpress. Select your default shipping country. Next, apply your global shipping rules. You can charge the exact shipping amount provided by AliExpress, or better yet, you can also mark this up for some profits. Say AliExpress charges $2 for shipping. You can charge more. Last, on our tab is cart and checkout settings. This enables us to skip the WooCommerce cart page when a buyer clicks to add a product to cart and it takes them to the checkout page automatically. This increases conversion and reduces purchase drop-off rate. Also, we have our well-optimized custom checkout pages, which can be used to replace your traditional and boring default WooCommerce checkout page. I will finally click to save. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will not be skipping the cart page so we can see the AliExpress shipping we set up earlier. Next is the search product. I have installed our Ali Builder extension, which will help us import products while directly on AliExpress website. Additionally, we can import products using the 
product ID or SKU. And we can also import via keyword search method. The first product we'll be importing will be via the keyword product search method. Based on our product category settings we've done earlier, let us try searching for leather bracelets. The shipping price should be fetched from the United States. I'll click to search for products. And also, we can include any or all of our search parameters. Here are our search results, and we can also see the shipping costs and the delivery time. As you can see, the e-packet shipping will take 12 to 20 days, and the shipping costs less than $2. And also, we can see other shipping methods and costs here. Next, I will click to fetch some of these products. Let's check out our import list to see if they have been successfully added. Here are our newly added products. Next, we can always select our product category choice. To create categories, hover over WooCommerce products and click on categories. Since the product is a leather bracelet, we select this. Next, is the product status. Choose to publish or to add to your product drafts. Next is to tag your product. Also, we can edit the description. We can always edit this and take out unwanted contents and add our choice content. Say I don't want this content. I can also add additional content before finally publishing to my store. Next on our tab is the product variations. Here, we'll be able to see our profit margins per product. Like this sample product, it will cost us $1.19 while we sell it on our store for $3.57, and this will be our profit while the discount product price will be $8.33. And here is our available store product stock amount. Also, if you don't want any product variation type, all you need to do is uncheck this. And also, every content here is much easier to edit to whatsoever you want. Next on our tab is the default product images. The last step is to post our edited products to our shop. We can also bulk publish multiple products at once. I will quickly do that now. While on AliExpress, we can also import products to our store. From our setup category, let's search and import stud earrings. To import this to my store, all I need to do is click on this button. But before I do this, first, I would like to set up our Google Chrome extension. Let me quickly do that. Once this is done, it will authenticate with our store. As you can see, it has been successfully connected. Now, we can easily import any product directly while on AliExpress. So let's try importing this product first. Here you go, it has successfully imported. Let's import more products. Say any product that's got good ratings and a lot of orders too. Let's import two more. As you can see, they have all been automatically imported. So we can now open our import list to see the fetched products. Here are the three products we just fetched from AliExpress just now. I'll quickly do some editing and assign categories before finally pushing them all to our store. Also, if you can remember, we did add a filter phrase say, any product that had drop shipping or contents we do not like for it to be replaced. So based on this, 
let us search for products that have the word dropshipping in it. With this, we will be able to see if our search criteria was actually met. Okay, this product has dropshipping in it. I will go ahead and import now. I believe the replacing phrase for dropshipping we set up earlier was free shipping. Let's go see our import list. I will refresh now so we can see the changes. As you can see, the product that had drop shipping in it that we just fetched has been replaced with free shipping. But we can always edit the contents to whatsoever we want, like changing the product title or making it shorter and SEO friendly. Let us push all three products to our store. You can see how quick and easy it is to fetch and push products to our stores. Let us now check out our storefronts to see the products we have imported. Here they are. I will quickly try and check on one of these products. Here is our setup stock level, and I will click to see the reviews. Based on our setup review phrase replacement criteria, where any review with the word AliExpress has been replaced with our store name. Like the default, AliExpress Shopper has been replaced with Ali Builder Shopper. You can see how cool, unique, and powerful this dropshipping product is by blocking anything that will reveal where you are dropshipping from. I will quickly place an order now so you can see how the order fulfillment is done. Next, I will click View Cart. Though we are supposed to bypass this and head straight to checkout, I want to first show you the shipping we set up earlier. Here, our buyers can always select their shipping preference. Next, we can proceed to checkout. I will quickly enter our checkout information. Like you can see, on the Ali Checkout page setting, you can completely set up your checkout how you want it, with your choice contents and bullets. Add your store logo, your guarantees, your tracking pixels, and your payment processor will appear here. As you know, this works with any WooCommerce supported payment method. Let me place the order. Done. I will head to our WooCommerce order section to see the placed order and try fulfilling it. Here is the order we just placed and the shipping preference selected at checkout. So to fulfill, I will click on the order fulfillment icon. Watch the screen now as the software goes to work and fulfills this order on my behalf. First, by locating the product on AliExpress, crawling to fetch the buyer's provided information such as shipping address, as you can see, they have all been added by the system automatically. Next, I will click on save and ship to this address. Now you can see that the system automatically added our earlier note to be sent to AliExpress vendor. Also, the product on AliExpress will be costing us $11.34, while our buyers will be purchasing at the rate of over $34 with a profit margin of over $20. And the delivery period is now below 14 days. So you can see how easy it is to set up a drop shipping store with AliBuilder without any need for inventory. Your buyers first pay you before you can order the same product on their behalf from AliExpress, while you keep the difference as AliExpress ships this product to your buyers. Go ahead and get AliBuilder today and put it to work for your dropshipping store by clicking the button below.